Stuart Rimmer chases uh, what appeared to be a lost cause for a moment, but keeper Trinder had to come out of his goal to clear the ball. And his early minutes certainly belonging to Chester, taking the game to uh, the home side at the moment. Oh, it's in, it's a goal already! It's uh, Stuart Rimmer who's got the goal, Trenek from that throw. The first time Mantrill have had a corner on this side of the field. 36 minutes on the clock. It's in. There's the equaliser. I think it's Hadley that got it. It is indeed Hadley. Stuart Hadley who equalises from that left wing corner. Now we've got a match. Burnham, good throw, finds Rimmer. Burnham takes the return. Oh, there was a chance. It's bubbling, it must be, it's there. Nopeman scored. Chester are back in front. 40 minutes of play, and uh, I think that would have to go down as a goalkeeping error there. Hackett. Harper, a deep cross. Oh, it's off the top of the bar. And that was substitute. Sale, who got his head on that one, and his first touch of the match. Well, Chester would be pretty happy to get the start in the second half that they did in the first, with an early goal. And there's a chance as Richardson's sent through. Sit squares it to Rimmer, it's there! Rimmer has started the second half, and exactly the, just as we were saying that they could do with the start to the second half, Rimmer duly obliges. One point that we've not got to forget about this, Brian, is that Chester have now scored three goals, and currently this morning, the only reason why they were lying second. Oh, and a break for Hadley. It's there. Hadley's got a goal back. His second of the game. Chester will be hoping that they don't have a repeat of last week's match where they conceded two late goals, which cost them the uh, cup tie at Blackpool. It's breaking for Hadley, could be his hat-trick, it is, it's there, Hadley gets his hat-trick, oh, terrible defence by Chester there. 64 minutes. Sale wins it in the air, Hadley's in there again, oh, it's breaking in front of the Chester goal, and that was Spencer Whelan who got across to concede the corner. May not be too long before we see a Chester substitution. The old head of uh, Gary Shelton's on the bench, of course. And it might be a question of sending him out to uh, steady the troops. Now it's Mansfield attacking once again. Harper on the left. Beats Whelan, gets to the byline. Oh, it comes across, it's a danger. Offside, well, that's offside. It was Hadley who headed it in. Oh, Chester, the luxury of a free kick in the Mansfield half. Into the danger area, Regis goes up with it and actually wins it. Rimmer, it's there. Rimmer scored. Oh, Mansfield are in despair. Rimmer's got his hat trick. Well, who's going to have the match ball today? Hadley has got a hat trick. Rimmer's got a hat trick. Stuart Hadley, the man of the match for Mansfield Town. He's got three goals. But Stuart Rimmer's third goal, three goals for Chester plus the one from Kevin Nolman have earned them the points here this afternoon. And my opinion is the difference was the terrific start that Chester made to both halves there with a Stuart Rimmer goal after two minutes of the first half, three minutes of the second half, and it is Stuart Rimmer who's got hold of the match ball and he's taking it off the field. Well.